for watching Star Television on Channel 21. I am Leonora Jawala and welcome to the local news bulletin for the Star. Post the headlines. Power Women 232 has organized an all black solidarity match and a candlelight vision for a female corpse that was found at the Lomley Beach late last week. The Environment Protection Agency Sierra Leone embarked on a project to beautify the city. The people of Jayama Bongo Chiefdom in Bo District have lauded Walter on the high fee for their efforts in rehabilitating their weekly trade fair market structures at Coribondo. And in sports, the Sierra Leone Football Association Interim Committee is set for President Alice Baikuruma Kick Ebola Football Festival that will commence on Friday. Those were the headlines and now for the news and detail. was recently ranked one of the most peaceful countries of late. But recently the country has seen a strange type of violence with a pattern that is yet to be distinctly identified. Dead bodies have been found in different parts of the country. Last week a female corpse was found at the Lomley Beach. Power Women 232 has organized a solidarity match and a candlelight vigil for the deceased whose case is being investigated. Star Television Fabian Suil was in attendance and she now reports. It could be recalled that last week, particularly on Thursday early morning hours, a corpse was found at the beach, a female victim named Hannah, who was allegedly raped and killed and her body was found at the beach. Now, 232 Power Women and Wimsal and all other female advocacy groups have come together and this is an all-black solidarity march in commemoration and sympathizing with the family and the victim who is already dead. And it also could be recalled that um, a the previous day, the Minister of Social Welfare, the Deputy Minister rather of Social Welfare, Gender and Children's Affairs, Mustafa Bayatila, came out and strongly called on the men to support the women in the march today and to stand firm with the women to say no to violence against women and sexual offenses against women and girls in Sierra Leone. Now, Sierra Leonean women worldwide have been also advocating against violence and sexual offenses against women and girls today on social media especially on WhatsApp. We saw lots of videos from other Sierra Leonean, both men and women in other parts of the world, who have been sending in their own videos in their black, being part of this in spirit, as they called it. So this, the, 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 this is going to end with a candlelight vigil now at the beach. Actually, the match started at the roundabout of Aberdeen, and it's taking us all through down to the beach. It's a justice match, solidarity, women all in black. In his statement, the Inspector General of Police, Francis Munu, said that the police is very dissatisfied with this incident, saying they will go all out to bring the perpetrator or perpetrators to justice, like they did in the case of another female victim whose remain was found at Regent in early June. He appealed to everyone to exercise patience, as the investigation, he said, will take time. He added they will reward and protect any person who comes forward with any information that would lead to an arrest. The Minister of Social Welfare, Gender and Children's Affairs, Alaji Moijue Kaikai, said his ministry will also give out 5 million loans to anyone who comes forward with a credible information. Mariam Abokari, mother of the deceased, said Hannah Abokari was an obedient and respectful child who got influenced by the wrong friends. She said her 17 years old deceased daughter left her house in the beginning of the Ebola outbreak in Sierra Leone. Next, she heard her daughter was at Pepel working. Hannah, who had three sisters and one brother, had lost her father when she was four months old during the rebel war. However, the police haven't officially come out with any word about the cause of death, despite rumors going around that the victim was allegedly raped. The police are still investigating and forensic experts haven't done a post-mortem yet. It's under investigation and Star Television Network will follow the story right through to the end. For Star Television News, I am Fabian Sweel. Freetown is one of the countries in West Africa that lacks the necessary beauty with trees along its major street. In order to change this nation, the Environment Protection Agency of Sierra Leone has embarked on a project to beautify the city. Our environmental reporter, Ishmael Kindava Dumbuya, takes an assessment of the venture 
and compile this report read in a studio by Abdulrahman Kamara. As part of effort in ensuring a favorable environment suitable for the country, the Environment Protection Agency of Siwalin in collaboration with the Siwalin Roads Authority has embarked on a beautification of major streets in the city. The beautification process involved the installation of flower pots and flour along major streets in the city. The initiative has already been demonstrated along the Wilkinson Road. Beautification of a city with flowers and trees is not a new idea in some part of the world. In Peru, for instance, all their major streets are beautified with trees and other ornamental flowers. The Environment Agency in Sierra Leone realized that the planting of trees and flowers that is seen in other countries could be replicated here in Sierra Leone with the aim of providing a conducive environment for the benefit of all Sierra Leoneans. Presently, some of the major streets in Freta are under construction by the government of Sierra Leone. During the launch of the beautification process at Wilkinson Road, the executive chairperson of the Environment Protection Agency, Madam Hadija Tujalo, said they have been working on the idea for the past three years, but they are waiting to see the end of the road construction in the city. She reiterated the fact that the launching of the project was made possible through the intervention of the mayor of the municipality and she has called on all Sierra Leoneans to handle the flowers with care. So I appeal to every single Sierra Leone, please treat these flowers as your own. Don't steal them. Don't damage these pots. If you damage them, report to the EPA or report to City Council SRA. I will see what we can do to this. It is Madam Jallo noted that the beautification of the city is a milestone in the country which is not only done for the interest of the Environment Protection Agency, the Frita City Council or the Siwali Roots Authority, but it is done for the interest of all Siwalinians in the country. She called on all and Sunday to embrace the initiative and desist from destroying those flowers and pores they have already started to install along the street. This is a milestone. The beautification is of this city. It's not just for the mayor or SLRA or EPA. It is for every single civilian in this country. This is your project because this is our city. Before launching the beautification project, the mayor of the Freetown City Council, his worship, Buddy Gibson, urges council and the councillors to take appropriate action in ensuring that all the rights of way are cleared. I will commit the council at all times in making available whatever is required of us as our contribution to this municipality. Let by the time we go, we are able to leave our mark and say, well, this was what I did for the development of my country. This news is compiled by Ishmael Kindama Dumbuya and read by Abdul Rahman Kamara. The people of Jayama Bongo Chief Dumbo District have lauded Waltonga Haifi for their efforts in rehabilitating their weekly trade fair market structures at Koribondo. Mohamed Sako has the detail. Ahead of the reactivation and reopening of the Koribondo weekly trade fair, members of the system Ebola Task Force and Market Management Committee in Jayama Bongo System have participated in a one-day training on Ebola virus disease, EGD preventive measures, and general security duties. Held at the ITS primary school building, Koribondo Town, from 20 miles away from the Bow City, attracted a good number of participants. Explaining the driving force behind the training, a business advisor for the DPAS project, Kode Bangura, a staff from the West Wonga High School, underscored the significance of the training, continuing that it will help the targeted beneficiaries to overcome their past challenges in the execution of their duties in the Koribondo community before, during, and after the reactivation of the third trade year. According to Kode Bangura, the overall objective of the training is to empower and capacitate the market management committee and system Ebola task force plus functionaries for final elimination of the deadly virus in that community. Touching on the reconditioning of the market premises, Mr. Bangura disclosed that rehabilitation work on the market has already been completed with the EBD preventive materials ready. My organization has financed the reconstruction of over 20 goods plus the painting of the entire market area. We have also provided EBD preventive materials including thermometers, Veronica buckets and megaphones to name but a few. A key part business and very Mr. Bangura added that the weekly trade market site 
will be having one entrance and a transit point amounting to two gates to be managed by participants of the just concluded training session, saying they will be charged with the responsibility to ensure that people adhere to all preventive measures of Ebola during the proposed weekly market days so as to prevent the death of pandemic from making a comeback. What the Bangura intimated that they are presently implementing the different projects in four districts, namely Kenema, Kailang, Go and Pujon respectively, in their quest to reaccess this industrial enterprises in more than 20 targeted communities. He, however, made known that West Longa Hydra will be providing stipend for some special division people who will be serving as services and thermometer operators, disclosing that names of 20 years attendance should be entering into a record book for any eventuality. For the Bangura and Fitness Community Authorities and elders to take ownership of the project for the materialization of their objectives. On his part, the councillor for World 244 Body Street Council, ABC Forest, described the training assignment. Councillor Forest confirms that West Longa High School has spent millions of pounds in giving a test trip to the Atresia market site and express appreciation for what he refers to as the work well done. Let me seize this opportunity on behalf of my people and the district council to say a big thank you to West Longa High School, especially Dr. Peter, especially Dr. Hans Itamula and Mr. Pone Bangura for this enviable gesture. The World Council said the first move. He promised that his people will live up to expectations for success. For Mohammed Kijan in the township of Koribondo, he thanks West Longa High School for actualizing their dream. We are going to prepare a bylaw to ensure that the good and efforts of humanitarian organizations do not go to change. One of the facilitators is Samori L. Sawa, who treated the EDD prevention service, protected satisfaction over enthusiasm and feedback from participants, saying was a clear manifestation that the one day training session was going to use dividends, driving the world exercise at school. Meanwhile, the chairman's market committee, Boy in Akate, the general of the fellow traders union, Body Mr. Mohamed Elsba, Senema Sawa, a businesswoman, and Madame Bin Suponte, they are among those who made valuable things. The presentation of the EDD presentation materials plus other items to the market committee by the Chief Business Advisor for the Bangura, Climate Decree. I am Mohamed Sapon Report. <laughs>at the Seaka Stevens Stadium, which will commence on Friday. Former Administrative Secretary in the Sierra Football Association, Abubakar Kaba, popularly known as Switsky, tells Star TV Sports more about the competition. Uh, you know, for far too long, we've not been kicking the round ball because of the, 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 the restriction uh, placed on public gathering, more so in respect of the outbreak of this deadly Ebola disease. So when the president, in his wisdom, thought it fit to lift the ban on public restrictions, the interim executive led by Aoko and the membership of the Sagan Football Association decided to start kicking the round ball. And, uh, and the organizing committee of which I happen to be the secretary was formed. And so we decided to say, enough is enough. It's high time we start kicking the round ball, and that is the idea behind the soccer festival. So, how many teams will involve in this competition? Uh, for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we'll be we'll be using uh, 29 clubs, 11 Premier League clubs, uh, including Gem Stars from the Western Area and 20 Division One clubs from Western Area. Okay, many people will be asking the question if you have talking about the president of His Excellency Dr. Anes Baikoguma. Yes, uh, finance, I, I must be honest with you, is no problem. Bearing in mind 
that it is the membership themselves that agreed to kick the round ball this time. So they are not asking for much. What, what we provided for the clubs is just a little stipend to kick off the, 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 the preparations in respect of the respective clubs. That is to say for transportation and feeding, just to get them in time to come to the national stadium. Abwaka Kaba added that they as football stakeholders, we do all they could to improve on the standard of football in the country. The champion at the end of the festival is expected to receive a giant trophy. It's in general reporting for Star TV Sports. Well, that's all in a Star News file for the song. I am Leonel Gajola. Thank you for watching and to stay with us.